Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3, where we're now the owners of our very own Pope hat, and there it is, being modelled by none other than Sultan Sunrise himself, and it's a very good hat, isn't it? Look at that, it's mighty glorious indeed. It's a big egg, it's just a big egg with lots of lovely pointy bits and jewels stuck on the side of it, and I do like it, it's a very good hat indeed, I like our new hat. So we picked that up last time as part of the Holy War we got involved in, all the fighting was over here in Andalusia, so we took a very sneaky trip over here to the Pope's house, we sieged it, and then we went poking around his cupboards for a bit until we found that lovely new hat. I mean, the Holy War was lost, the Catholics triumphed, and they got themselves a whole new kingdom title out of it, but in a way, I think we're the real winners, because if you had to choose between a kingdom title and this hat here, you choose this hat, surely, every single time, hands down. So you lot enjoy your fancy new kingdom title, and we shall go and enjoy our fancy new hat. Anyway, back we go to running the Sultanate of the lovely people. We do have a few little bits and bobs that we have to sort out, and I think whilst we were away, we did take our eye off the ball a bit with what was going on at home, because, you know, we were quite focused on the Holy War and sieging Rome and stealing the Pope's hat and that kind of stuff. All good, worthwhile goals. But yeah, we did sort of take our eye off the ball a bit with what was going on over here in our Sultanate. Mainly, I would say, we have a little interloper down here. We saw this last time. We have ourselves the independent realm of the County of Berta right there. So we did own that once upon a time. That was once part of our lands, but now it's kind of become independent. I don't know how that happened. I don't know if that was succession or war or whatever, but I don't really like the fact that it's there because it looks terrible. Look at that. It looks really awful. It sticks out like a sore thumb. And to make matters worse, the person that owns it is Coptic. Count uh, Michael, Mikael possibly, with the little kind of hat on the E. So yeah, they're Coptic and we don't like that. So I think our first order of business today should be going to get that back and returning it to whoever should own it. Who actually should have that? Hang on a minute. Go to the duchy. So it's part of the Emirate of Damot, which is Scone. So Scone should have that. So, okay, I don't quite know how you let that slip out of your grass, Scone, but there you go. Um, so yeah, I think we'll go in, have a bit of a holy war, we'll claim it, give it back to Scone. I think that's what we could do right now. I don't think you have anything else under your control. So that's it. You've got that one county under your control, which gives you 821 troops. I think we can possibly deal with that. You do have an alliance to Petty Queen Theodosia. We do have, however, 22,500 troops right now. I think that should be able to cope with whatever Petty Queen Theodosia has to offer. Yeah, 2,600 plus his whatever it was, is 800. So you can get about, what's that, about 3,500 ish. I think we can cope. So first things first, let's go and get this back. We shall have a holy war for that county. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, so if we win, we're going to take the title away from him. And there we go. Yeah, okay. 80 piety. We've got about three and a half thousand. That's fine. Here we go. Let's have a bit of a fight. Where is the, um, where's the flag? Up here somewhere. There it is. Okay, so grab the flag. We'll put that down there. And I think we only need our men at arms. We don't need the rest of the levies or whatever. So here we go. Let's go and do this nice and quick. And there we go. Right, so you're all sorted. In we go. 4,200 people coming in. Ooh, you've got some more people. Where did they come from? That can't be the ally, because the ally... Um, yeah, if it's... Uh, where are you? Petty Queen Theodosia of Darfur. Darfur's over there, isn't it? Yeah, there's Darfur. I mean, we might possibly go and try and claim that place at some point. But um, yeah, okay, ah, mercenaries. I wonder if you've just invested quite a lot of money in mercenaries. Um, yeah, 964 of them. Do you know what? Fair play to you. It's not gonna be enough, but at least you're not kind of, you know, just sort of giving up. At least you're trying to put up a bit of a fight. So do you know what? Hats off to you, my good sir. Um, but yeah, it's not gonna go well, is it? Right, so there we go. Three months left now to siege that place, and then we'll see what happens. A faction has been created against us. The, what was it? The Ethiopian Ashari populace. Okay, I'm sure we can cope. Ooh, the steward, the steward's stewardship skill has uh, led to us picking up some taxes. That's quite good. Ah, and Sajida has given birth to a daughter. So that's our daughter. Okay, so we've got a granddaughter. Okay, that's wonderful. Um, okay, let's have a quick look. How are you? You're intelligent and you're going to be pretty. That's wonderful stuff. Okay. That's very wonderful. You're our Sajida is. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Who are you? You're our 
our eldest child, your eldest daughter. Okay, right, so that is our grandchild. So, yeah, so you've got two daughters now. That's very lovely. So you've got Cuddles. Okay, so who could go with Cuddles? I think we're going to call her Spring. I quite like that. And I mean Spring the season, not Spring the coiled metal thing. We're going to name her after a season, of course, because Spring is a nice season, isn't it? It's a time of new beginnings and all the plants start coming through and growing again. And the days get a bit lighter and it gets a little bit warmer and winter kind of just, you know, becomes a bit of a distant memory kind of thing. So, yeah, well, I quite like that. Spring is a very lovely time. So I think we shall call you spring. I do like that. It's a very lovely time of year. So may you grow to be strong and wise, spring. Absolutely wonderful stuff. And our wife is pregnant. Good grief. It must be the hat. It encourages very good sort of stalk letter writing. Okay, so that is our secondary wife. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, we're 100%. It's all very good. Um, prison has been taken got a court here. I mean, is it worth trying to... Oh, we've got four people in prison. Good grief. Can we get some money out of you? So, ten money for you. Uh, oh, thirty money for you. Wow. Okay. I mean, that's quite a lot, considering you've only got one little tiny county. So, okay, we'll get thirty money. Um, and then you can... Get, if you convert, you can come out. That's fine. Do you want to recruit you? No, we really do not. You're okay at Marshall, but you are a wrathful, diligent, humble person who's also a bit wounded. No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. You can go if you convert. Can we also get a hook on you? Absolutely not. No, you convert as well. That's fine. Um, and we'll let them sort that out. And then, oh, hang on, hang on. Their troops are coming in. Oh, hang on a minute. We want to make sure that everyone gets out of the prison first, though. Hang on a minute. Can you all clear off out of my prison and pay up, please? Because I don't want to have to do the fighting. Okay, so they've gone. And now they're the ransom people. Right, okay. Ransom people have gone. And um, yeah, We'll wrap this up now. Thank you very much. So we'll seize all the territory. That's absolutely fine. Boom. Right, so he becomes just a yeah, regular unlanded person again. We'll disband all the troops. And then we want to give this to... I've forgotten who it was. <laughs> Hang on a minute. We did check. Um, Scone. Yeah, okay. So I think we've currently got that, haven't we? I think we've... Have we got that? Have we got control of that? Yes, we have. Yeah, so Bertr is under our control. Um, yeah, we don't really want that. We don't overly want that. So um, hang on a minute. Go back to here. Let's grant you the... Um, yeah, let's grant you the Shakedom of Berta. There you go. You have that, please. Wherever that might be. Just there. There you go. You have that back. And don't let it slip out your grasp again. Because it looked very, very untidy. Okay. There we go. That's that all sorted. So there we go. We've sorted that little kind of... That little anomaly out. Which is quite good. I mean, really... We could go and have a fight for that place. We could go and have a fight with Jerusalem because we could defeat them, I think, possibly, because they've got 11,000, we've got 26,000. That would be quite expensive. I think for now, what we do is we use Sunrise's ability to generate money and his architecture powers to go and do some building because, yeah, we can build things cheaper now and quicker which is really, really good. And we're earning quite a lot of money per month. And I think, is everybody sort of top back up? So yeah, so we're earning a good amount of money. 33.3 money per month is not to be sniffed out at all. So I think let's go and do some building upgrade things. So let's have a little look over here. So Delacca beer. We haven't upgraded much over here for a while. Um, okay, maybe given that it is the capital, maybe we could upgrade the watchtowers up to wooden watch towers. What are they made of now? Well, hang on a minute. We've got, oh, mud brick towers. Okay, so upgrade that to wooden watch towers to make it a little bit trickier to siege the capital because that's quite important. So we'll do that. And then we've got 219 monies left. I don't think we can do too much with that, but we'll have a quick check. Ah, over here. Let's upgrade the prayer halls over here. So, um, yeah, what's that going to be? 168 monies. And we're going to get a little bit of tax and control is going to go up and we get some piety. Okay, yep, that's fine. Do that, please. I like that. And then already, if we run it on, say, a year, we're going to have, I don't know, what's that, about 400 money after that? So we're going to have loads of money. It's going to be wonderful. So, uh, yeah, let's just keep time ticking on a little bit. We can get some more building upgrades underway. We do as well have the option over here to build lots of holdings. Because, yeah, we can control two more holdings. So we could get some more things going on over here as well. We could get another little kind of town set up and all that kind of stuff. So it could be very handy over there. 
and we don't want to do an artifact. We don't want to sponsor somebody for a thing quite yet. But you know what? We will hold court because we haven't done that in a while. So here we go. Um, yep, yeah, this is fine. How many people? Three people. That's kind of the norm, isn't it? Oh, look, we're in our, in our little chair in the hat. We're wearing our wonderful hat, of course we are. Why would we ever take it off? Sheikh Zabade approaches me with a straighter posture than usual and visibly eager about what he has to say. Okay, so hang on. Sheikh Zabade, remind me. Oh, you like us quite a lot. That's quite good. My liege, the people in your realm need the occasional joyous gathering where they can forget their stresses. I would gladly finance a feast, even if held under your name, as it's for the good of the lovely people. Though I would duly expect a favour in recompense. Okay, do you know what? I think we'd go for this. Because we are gregarious. We like spending time with other people. So we kind of go, do you know what? Yay, party, brilliant, let's do it. Okay, so we can say yes. So Sheikh Zabaid gives us 200 money. Oh, hosting a feast in the near future will yield a reward of court grandeur value. Oh, that's quite fancy. But then he does get a hook on us. And I don't really want people to have hooks on us. Or we can do a diplomacy challenge. So Sheikh Zabaid agrees to renege on their request of a favour. Okay, so he doesn't... Hang on, do we do the other thing though? Do we do the party? I don't know, do we get that? Do we host the party as well? Okay, so Sheikh Zabaid disagrees and withdraws their offer to pay. Okay, I mean it's a 78% chance that we could succeed with that. Or we just say no and he gets a bit grumpy with us. I mean, I don't want him to have a hook on us. I don't want that to happen. So I think... We'll go for this diplomacy challenge. 78% chance it should work. Come on, come on. Let's get this going. Okay. Uh, he agrees to renege on their request of a favour. So a feast is going to happen under our name. That's very exciting. Okay, so um, Vali Habiba, who are you? So you're the wife of Vali Nasser, who is in... Uh, right, you've got one of the... I don't know where you are. You're somebody. You're one of our people, I think, or one of our people's people. Um, so, yeah, so Valia Habiba and her husband approach cautiously, wary of the assembled court. My lord, I'm sure someone in the Sultanate is trying to harm my husband. I have no evidence, but suspect Emir Karadin. Yeah, Emir Karadin is a little bit of a pain. Uh, he has always positioned himself as Vali Nasir's enemy. I beg you, imprison Karadin and put a stop to this madness. Okay, we're not just going to chuck him in prison right now. I have no evidence. We are just... We'd need some evidence to do that. So we're not going to do either of those. I mean, yeah, by the look of it, I will question him. Intrigue challenge. Okay, so possible outcomes. He's caught in a lie. We took him in prison. Or he denies any involvement. I mean, I kind of think we have to do that, don't we? So let's go and ask him. He denies any involvement. And people got a little bit grumpy with us. But that's fine, because you had no evidence. Okay, and the final petitioner... My lord, I come from the religious community of Sana in the Sheikhdom of Begemda. Uh, there, wise and pious men have been collecting and preserving the traditional knowledge of Ethiopian culture for centuries. As a sign of our goodwill, I offer you this precious anthology of Ethiopian texts translated into your own language. We hope you accept it and gain a new perspective onto our people. Now, we do have... I mean, it's only a two-star education trade, but we do like kind of, you know, we do like learning and thinking and books and things. So I graciously accept we gain 75 prestige, some court grandeur, and all vassals of Ethiopian culture gain 10 opinion of us. Okay, or because we have a high learning skill, we can say, please stay and teach me more. So we get 150 prestige, so more than the other option. Uh, we gain six court grandeur, we gain bilingual readings. Diplomacy and learning up by one each for 10 years. Oh, that's wonderful. And then all rulers of Ethiopian culture gain 10 opinion. Or we tell him to clear off. We wouldn't do that. We'd be quite excited. We'd be like, yes, absolutely. Teach me more. I like these books. Yeah, wonderful stuff. And there we go. That is our our court held. And now you can all just you know, go about your business and it's all fine. Okay, splendid stuff. Um... Oh, the court musicians died. Oh, botherations. Right, he's died of gout. Okay, right, hang on. Um, what's going on here? It's come to my attention that some local commoners are moving to At Taif, the capital of my vassal Sheikh Zubaid. Okay, Sheikh Zubaid again. Uh, locals newly settled or not, praising me can surely do no harm to his perception of me. Um, oh, we're swaying him. We're swaying Sheikh Zubaid, who's on plus 100. 
do we need to sway you, Sheikh Zabade? I think we were swaying you, so you dropped out of a faction. Um, they're, yeah, they're peasanty kind of factions. Liberty faction, was it that one? Um, oh no, that's Amir Mansour. I think he's dropped out of the faction, because I think he likes us quite a bit. So, uh, hang on a minute. We're not going to give him money. It's not worth it because we're not going to sway him anymore. Let's sway that person there. Let's sway a mere Mansour. Absolutely. Yeah, you go into there, please. Um, yeah, okay. Right, there we go. Oh, yeah, we lost a person, didn't we? We lost a musician. So hang on. Let's go and sort that out. Hang on. Did we lose somebody else? Last time out. Yes, a master of the horse. We lost them, didn't we? Because I can't quite recall what happened, but we didn't replace them because we were in the Holy War and we were losing loads of money. And so to try and save a bit of cash at the time, we didn't actually get a Master of the Horse. Okay, let's get somebody now in. I mean, a mere chocolate Prince Scone. We could get Prince Scone doing it. That's quite good. Um, General, yeah, let's get uh, let's get Prince Scone in because you're excellent at it. So Knight Effectiveness up by 8%, Court Grandeur goes up, and Monthly Court Grandeur Change up by 20%. Wonderful. So, yeah. Okay, so Prince Scone can do that. And then we lost... Oh, we've got a Jester. Can we have a Jester? Um, oh, no. <laughs> the top option to become the court Jester is our son and our heir, Faddle. I don't think we should do that. I mean, if we were a horrible character, if we were playing somebody who was, you know, callous and evil and mean and vengeful, then maybe, maybe we would make our son become the Jester. But I don't think we would do that. We've got a courtier here who could be quite good. Let's get you doing it. There you go. Diplomacy and you're gregarious. Yeah, absolutely. We can employ a court jester again because we are making quite a bit of money. So why don't we spend it on lovely, nice things in court? Um, we don't need an architect quite now. I know we are doing building work, but we're quite good at doing the architecture stuff ourselves. So I think that's not required. Court musician. That's what we lost, wasn't it? Um, oh, and Faddle comes out of the top again. I mean, that's a more prestigious position, I would say, than the jester. I'd say we can make our son the musician. That's okay. That's fine. That's quite a good thing because, you know, you're entertaining the court with music and that's exciting and it makes it vibrant and lively. So I think, yes, okay, let's get our son in to be the court musician. Absolutely. There we go. And I think that's it, isn't it? What else do we need? Architect, bodyguard, champion, court artificers. Okay, we don't need any of those things right now. I think that should be okay. Okie doke. Right, there we go. Back we go to moving time on. Let's see if we can get some more money in. I mean, even though we just employed some people to do some jobs, we're still earning, what, 32 gold every single month. And we top back up over there. We're still trying to top the levies up. But yeah, that, they're slowly but surely getting there. Do we need to do any um any control stuff with Chappie over here, with the Marshal? Oh, it's a bit of a hot mess over there, isn't it? Hang on a minute. Um, Oh, hang on a minute. Shola comes of age. Oh, okay. One of our children's come of age. That's wonderful. You've got a four-star diplomacy trait. That's wonderful. That's very good. Um, Okay, hang on a second. Hang on. Go back to here. So I think all the bits that we control are looking good. But I mean, do you want to go and work on some other bits? Just to make sure that everything looks a little bit more organised? Because it is a big old mess right now, isn't it? Good grief. It's all over the shop. I mean, what if we go and help out over there just to maybe oh hang on that's almost done and oh no it that came back down oh no it's finished i'm really confused have you finished doing control that said you were finished and then it went to 12 months that was a bit weird but okay game um there are fair stretches of unsettled land in the shakedom of dambia often blamed and unsuitable to rain my nephew amir Karadin you keep popping up as well, has suggested that an irrigation project might make it arable and thereby valuable. Okay, I will design an aqueduct. That's going to cost us 300 money. I'll gain a stewardship lifestyle perk and, yeah, gains a new aqueduct. So development growth goes up and control growth goes up. We need a ditch and soil network. I might gain a lifestyle perk. If successful, we gain ditches. Development up by 10%. Or the land isn't settled for good reason and we just kind of give up and don't do anything. Um, I think that's quite costly. That's very expensive. And we know that we're trying to save money to you know, upgrade buildings and such. So let's go for a ditch and soil network. And we might gain a perk. Do we gain a perk? I don't know. 
Doesn't look like we've gained a perk, which is a bit of a shame because that would have been quite nice, but never mind. Um, okay, right, there we go. We have picked up an artifact. Oh, no, it's a story thing. Irrigation, unforeseen difficulties. My irrigation project in Danbury is progressing, but with more difficulty than expected. According to my nephew and me, Carradine, the ground is both twice as rocky and twice as porous as we thought. Okay, great. The peasants will have to work twice as hard then. So we basically work the peasants to death. Yeah, that's not good, is it? That's not good at all. We should take our time and get it right. Okay, so that's going to take a few years. Okay, so 47% chance the project will be complete in a few years. Or a 52% chance it's going to drag on. Or we work some more people to death. I don't want to work people to death. We're not horrible. So I think... Yeah, just take our time and get it right. We're in no desperate rush. It's fine. I'm sure we'll get it sorted at some point. It's okay. A neighbour's war has been resolved. That's quite nice. I think we've got a bit of land down there. We've got a bit of land just there. And we have a son. Okay. Hang on. Is that our... That's so many kids. Hang on. So we've got a son, a son, a son, daughter. Son. We've got quite a lot of sons now. We do need to get primogeniture sorted, don't we? Because otherwise the, the uh, succession is going to be all very complicated. I'm, I'm not... Joe, you know what? We'll go and look at it in a second. I was going to say, I'm not going to look at it, but I think we have to. Okay, so we have a son. Right, what should we call our son? I think we should call our son kindness. I like that. That sounds like a very lovely thing indeed, doesn't it? Being kind is very lovely. So there we go. You can be kindness. So it's going to be Prince Kindness, and Prince Kindness is a genius, which is very good indeed. So there we go, Prince Kindness. Oh, I like that. That's very good. Right, hang on. Are we teaching anybody anything? We have no wards. Okay, maybe we should consider that with some of the kids. So they're okay. Shola has come of age. Right, so Warm Bath. Is anybody teaching you? Uh, right, yes, yeah, so our niece is teaching you. That's okay. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, and then we've got Owl. Of course, I don't think anybody's teaching Owl anything. So Owl, we shall educate you. Absolutely. You can become uh, you can become our ward. Let's have a quick check just to see if you've got any kind of uh, anything going on over there. No, no stock letter writing happening quite yet with our air, but okie doke. And um, uh, yeah, kindness. Let's become, let's become their ward. Let's go, no, not their ward, their guardian. Let's go and educate those two. There we go. Splendid. That's at least some of the kids being educated in a way that we can control, which is very nice. Right, so what have we got now? 32.3 monies. What is this? Oh, hang on. New perk first. Um, okay, where do we go now? What do we go for? I don't think we go for avaricious. I think maybe administrator might be quite good. Although the first thing of administrator is completely pointless because we can't use claim thrown against our liege because we don't have a liege. Chains of loyalty. Domestic affairs efficiency up by 25%. Large levies. The vassals give us more levies. Likeable. The vassals like us a lot more. Soon forgiven. Tyranny comes down. Don't have any. Councillor opinion up. That could be quite good. Toe the line. The vassals are less likely to join independence factions. Honour to serve. That's really good. Powerful vassal councillor tax contribution and levy contribution up by 20%. And then we get administrator at the end which gives us, what, diplomacy up by one, stewardship up by three, vassal opinion up by five. I think we go for that. Let's become an administrator. Hang on, how old are you? You're 41. Although, do we then start focusing on learning? Because that is your main thing, isn't it? That's your main thing, learning. And because that's your learning education, you're going to get, you're going to go through this a bit quicker. You have gone down theologian. Okay, so you've gone down the whole sort of religious route. I think possibly we would reset. Oh, no, we can't reset it because it's going to stress him out. And we're going to lose architect. Maybe we wouldn't do that, but I'm not so bothered about that. I don't know. Are you overly religious? I mean, you have done your harsh thing. You've done that. Maybe, maybe you are a little bit more religious than I was kind of expecting. But uh, I think possibly, although, although, if we do go away from domain focus, we're going to lose three stewardship which is going to bring us down to 20, which will affect the money that we're generating. And it might also affect the amount of uh, the amount of holdings we can have. So this is quite tricky. What do we do with this? I mean, we have got the one perk now anyway. We've got the one perk now. Hang on a minute. Well, that's pointless. We've got 
this stewardship perk. So we'll get golden obligations because meritocracy is completely pointless. Um, but then, yeah, do we do we swap? I think we swap. I think we swap. I mean, we could go down a medicine focus. We could get that nice and early and get all these and maybe see if we can make him live a bit longer than some of the other people. So go down whole of body now so he can be aware of, you know, when he's going to be ill and he can be a little bit better at looking after himself and he can be healthy and all that kind of stuff. Maybe we could do that. I quite like the idea of that. Let's get that in and do that early, shall we? Let's do that now. So, OK, so we'll do that medicine focus. We're going to pick these up a bit quicker because that's his learning education. And um, hang on a minute. So 30.9. Let's just move time on a tiny bit. So oh, it's not made that much difference. It's not made that much difference at all. We're still earning a good amount of money and we can still control up to 12 holdings. Yeah, OK, wonderful. Very good stuff indeed. Right, that's good. Let's wait for some more money to come in and then we'll go and spend it on building stuff. Oh, OK, another irrigation thing. So stagnant progress. My liege, the irrigation project in Dambia is running behind schedule. My nephew Amir Karadin reports far behind. Having inspected the work, I worry whether it will be complete in my lifetime. I cannot tell whether he is serious or not. You're only 25. Good grief. OK, so we can work some more people to death, which we're not going to do. I, however many workers are needed, we lose 300 monies, but maybe that could help. Or perhaps it's time to aim a little lower. I mean, really, really, would we would we spend 300 money on getting this one county a tiny bit better? I don't think we would. I don't think we'd be that bothered because you know, we're temperate. It's okay. Enjoy things in moderation. That's more enjoying things, I suppose. I was going to say maybe he'd be sort of more sort of understanding of just kind of go, you know what? We don't want to spend that much money on that. As long as we get something done, it's fine. If something works, if it's irrigation, even in a basic way, that's quite helpful. But I don't think we'd want to spend 300 money on it because I know he's not greedy, but he's not daft either is Sunrise, I think he'd be aware that that 300 money could be better spent elsewhere. Do you know what? Perhaps it's time to aim a little lower. Let's do that. And I did notice, yeah, we had this down here. What have we picked up? What have we actually acquired? Oh, things, oh, hang on. Things are falling apart. Oh, okay. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Pause time. We might have to go and repair some stuff. Hang on. What did we pick up that was new? We've got a new thing. Uh, oh, is that? That, the Mengesha made a romance? Is that what it is? Oh yeah, look, all these things are completely falling apart. Have we got an antiquarian? I'm fairly certain we have. Um, hang on a minute. Yes, Gazelle. Oh, her aptitude is terrible. Hang on, what? Our court physician's aptitude is terrible. Um, okay, this is, this is news to me. Why is that? She's a physician. Why is she terrible? Oh, OK, hang on. Maybe we replace you with somebody else. Oh, this is awful. Why have I never noticed that before? OK, no, this is awful stuff. Um, OK, can we get a better antiquarian? Um, our daughter can do that. That's very exciting. OK, so we'll appoint you to do that. That's going to annoy Gazelle, but she's going to be out of a job soon anyway. And then she was also the high almoner. Her aptitude for that is terrible. Oh, because she's infirm. She's become infirm, so she's not very good at doing anything anymore. That's all very sad. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That's really awful. Um, however, could we find you a husband who's a really good fighty person? I think we might go and do that as well. Hang on, let's replace you as a high almoner with that person there. So there we go. Is that our, our daughter-in-law? Yes, it is. Okay, she can do that because that's really good. And then, yeah, we do need a proper doctor. We need a proper court doctor. So hang on a minute. Hang on. Can we go and marry somebody? Can we marry somebody in and just get that sorted that way? Um, hang on a minute. Let's have a look. Oh, competent physician. Hang on. You might be worth having. Uh, are you a competent physician? You've got no physician skills at all. I was kind of expecting somebody with you know, the ability to do some doctoring. Um, hang on a minute. Hang on. So I could... I uh, mean, we could... What's that? You might leave. We could get somebody in here. Right, hang on a minute. So can we find somebody who is a physician? Here we go. So, I mean, renowned physician would be brilliant, but that's not going to happen. So hang on. What about if we search for just a regular physician? Nobody. Okay, what if we search for a novice physician? 
We've got a few options. Okay, so order it by learning. Um, Hasty. So Hasty, you could come in. You're a physician. You're a herbalist. That could help. You're lusty, you're cynical, and you're arrogant. Okay, you don't seem great, but okay, that's a potential. So then let's have a little look the other way round. So you're a courtier. You've not got a husband. So can we look in here? Ah, right, here we go. Novice physicians who are male. Let's have a little look. I mean, Zahak there is pretty good, but you're 18. Are you good at fighting as well? No, you're really not. You're already somebody else. Hang on, it's got to be matrilineal. Forgot about that. Um, you're still willing to come over. You're still willing to pop on over and help us out a bit, which is very kind. I'm quite happy with that. Um, do you know what we could do? Hang on. Right now, could we? Search for a physician. Let's do that right now. So start the search, because they might find somebody good. Um, oh, the... <laughs> The per oh no, hang on. No, no, we didn't make you. No, I thought that was the job that we just appointed, but no. Oh no, it's one of our counsellors. It's the Chancellor. Now, oh, botherations. Okay. So, we have Amir Sadiq. Feels like he's a powerful vassal. He does have a diplomacy of 20, which is quite good. So, I think we get you on board. Because if we employ you onto the council, you're going to be happy. And that's going to keep you off our back for a bit. So there you go. You can come in and do some council stuff. Um, and then we need to get whatever it was. That person was about control, was it? I forget. Hang on. What was it? Hang on. Scrolly scroll. Um, oh, no, it's learning per level of devotion. That was it. Um, oh, I've not got many good people about the place. Oh, it's Sheikh Zabaid. Do you know what? Shakes obeyed, in you come. You can have that job for now. It's not great, but there we go. Um, right, so let's see what they do in terms of bringing back some sort of physicians. Are we going to actually get some good people in? Whoa, is that person a giant or are they just standing incredibly near to the camera? Oh no, they are a giant. Okay. Oh, a renowned physician. Yeah, okay. You seem good and you're a patient, cynical sadist who is also good at scheming. Right, I think we get Jibril, because Jibril seems pretty good. You are a renowned physician. Yeah, okay, Jibril is quite experienced. We pay 300 money to him. Oh no, that's really expensive. But it is going to be for a court doctor, although their learning isn't that good. But they are a renowned physician. Oh, what do we do here? Do we get you on board... You're quite good at fighting, so you might also be able to go and do some sort of uh, some Farris work as well. Do you know what? We'll pay the money. Oh, I don't know what. We've done it. We've done it. We've paid the money. We're now poor, but we do have ourselves a kind of a fighty doctor, which is, I suppose, quite exciting. He's like a sort of a battle medic almost. He can run into battle and do some fighting, and then he can patch people up as he goes along. There we go. That's very exciting. Okay, so we've at least got that sorted out. Um, right, okay, move time on a bit. Um, irrigation bringing life. I am present on the day that the levees were brought down to bring water into my new network of ditches in the Sheikdom of Dambia. It takes hours for the water to start spreading properly. The ground is still hard and inhospitable, and much work remains, especially as my project is not quite as grand as I had envisioned. Uh, vis envisioned sorry. Nevertheless, the water is fresh and will in time bring new life to this soil. As the rivulets become a stream, I reflect on all that my work has taught me. Even decades from now, we will reap the reward from this. So we gain a perk, a stewardship perk, okay, and we get irrigation ditches. So development growth up by 5%. Okay, so we have ourselves a stewardship perk, although that's now coming up as not a... Hang on, it is a stewardship perk. Okay, so back here we go. So what do we have? It is my domain, War Profiteer or Herigeld. So vassal tax contribution up by 10%, or whilst we're at war, we get plus 10% money. That could be quite handy. That could help us out quite a bit. So if we're having a big old fight, we could then get 10% more money to you know, fund our troops for longer. It means we can have more troops raised and that kind of stuff. But that would just give us 10% more money from our vassals. How much do we get from our vassals? We get 26.2. Hang on, pause time. 26.3. Okay, so hang on. So what did that give us? Plus 10%. So 26. So it'd be about 2.6 more gold. Or we could have 10% more income in total whilst we're at war 
which would be three. I think we go for the vassal one. It's only going to be three something or other whilst we're at war, and we're not at war all the time. So I think if we go for that, hang on, so let's have a quick look. So 30.2 overall. We're in 26.3 from vassal taxes. Go for that Herigeld, whatever that means. Okay, so 26.2 up to 28.9. Okay, that's actually not too shabby at all. That's quite good. And we don't want to commission an artifact because that's going to cost money. And we don't have loads of that anymore because we just hired a very expensive doctor person. But uh, there we go. Wonderful stuff. Right, so everything is looking good. Irrigation projects sorted. We have a well-organized court now, which is very nice as well. So, okay, things are looking good. We don't want to do any kind of sponsorship things right now because that will require quite a lot of money and we want to spend it on nice building upgrades and things. We want to make things better for the people of Dalak. So, uh, yeah, let's not invest in, you know, fancy sort of trinkets at the moment. Although saying that, we do need to repair some of our fancy trinkets, don't we? Because they are all falling apart. I mean, our crown, Emir Cake's crown, only has 21 years left before it completely collapses. I mean, can we repair that? How expensive is it? Um, reforge cost one, repair cost 38. I don't know what that means. Pay 38 to get it repaired. Reforge a mere cake's crown into a pedestal. Oh, you can turn it into a pedestal item to put out in your car. Oh, that's quite cool. Um, no, we'll repair that because we want to wear it. Well, they don't wear it all the time because, of course, we have our wonderful Pope hat. Um, yeah, we might need to do some repairing of things over here. That's 38 to repair the fine book about books. The Bedouin coin. Ah, we don't need that anymore. We don't need the Bedouin coin because we could get that thing back in to get some more learning lifestyle. So that could be quite good to so repair that. That's another 38 or whatever. Oh, hang on. That was more expensive than I thought it was going to be. Oh, crikey, hang on. We've burnt through all of our money repairing trinkets and things. Hang on a second. <laughs> Let's wait for that to build back up because, uh, yeah, that was quite costly. Repairing artifacts is a, uh, a very expensive business, it turns out. Oh, there we go. Our player air Faddle now has a daughter. Okay, that's very good. So hang on. Let's go and have a little look. You are pretty and you are quick. Okay, that's fine. And you're going to go to Shola right now. But uh, no, let's rename you a thing. Let's give you a different name. I think we'll call you Joyful. I like that. That's a very lovely name, isn't it? It's very happy and upbeat and positive. So yeah, there we go. You can be called Joyful, which is very good. That's good, though. That's good. At least they have been getting together and, you know, writing letters to the stork. So hopefully at some point we might get a boy involved. Um, okay, somebody's turned up to... Oh, okay. Somebody's turned up to do some kind of, you know, homage stuff. That's fine. In you come. And, yeah, we get some stuff. We don't get any money, which is a bit of a shame, but we do get court grandeur and renown and all that kind of stuff. And our level of fame has gone up. We're now illustrious, which I think means that we can do duchy level conquering things, is it? Yeah, there we go. We can't invade, can't invade kingdoms yet because we need to be exalted among men. Can we not? Hang on. Do you not have a duchy? Have you just got... Hang on, you've got a kingdom title. You have got a duchy. Why can't we take that? Why can't we take that duchy title from you? That's a bit weird. Why can't we do that? Um, okay, I thought maybe if we're illustrious, we could take duchies from people. Can we look down here and have a look? Go and declare war on you? Um, maybe it was conquer duchy. Maybe that's what you need to have to have be sort of illustrious to be able to do. Maybe it was that one. I'm not entirely sure, but... Okay, that's fine. We don't want to commission artifacts. Our existing ones are falling apart, game. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, the Marble Scepter, learning plus one. We need to repair that. It says here you'll pay 38 to repair the Marble Scepter of Jira. 114. Comes down to 39. I'm not quite sure what's going on there, because, I mean, I'm not very good at numbers, but I'm fairly sure that those numbers didn't add up. But uh, never mind. We're slowly but surely getting through repairing these things. It's just proving to be quite costly. But uh, never mind, got to be done. That's why we're earning the money to spend it on nice things. Okay, so we have an event called Shared Prayer. Exiting the mosque in Sabay, I end up in the company of some local merchants, as well as Amir Muhammad. Okay, remind me, who are you? You're our nephew, our vassal, and one of our knights. Okay, now you're one of Scone's children. Okay, that's fine. So you're our nephew. They're in the middle of a discussion regarding theology and worldly wealth. I would invest in the mosque, but how can I know if that is even Allah's will? 
Okay, so help me convince them Emir Muhammad. So that's a learning challenge, of which we have a 100% chance of success. So if we do that, if we try to convince the merchants to invest in the mosque, there's a 100% chance of success. Hmm, will we do that one? So Emir Muhammad becomes our friend, we gain 50 learning lifestyle experience, and the holding of Sabay gets the building temple grounds. Okay, that sounds quite good. But uh, yeah, we're not going to see the 0% chance thing. So let's not bother looking. Or we could just get ourselves an easy 150 gold. I mean, that would be nice. That would be very nice. But I think let's go over here. Let's help out Amir Muhammad, shall we? Let's help him out a little bit. Um, okay, Sabay. Whereabouts is that in the world? I'm not quite sure where it is. So it's all the way over there. So there is a mosque over there in Sabay. So I guess it's one of the buildings down here. So we've got prayer halls. What does it give them? Temple grounds. Okay, what's that? A temple sits at the center of the village, carefully constructed by local craftsmen to show their dedication to the faith. Okay, so is that a thing we can build? Is that a thing we can build over here? It doesn't seem familiar. Uh, no. Okay, do you know what? It's fine. It's an important thing, and I like the sound of it. So yeah, the holding of survey gains the building temple grounds. Uh, oh no, hang on. It's the holding. It's um, It's over... Where is it? Is it one of these? Is it something over here? Is it a new thing? I don't know. Do you know what? We'll do that though because we have a 100% chance of success. So there we go. It's work to raid. The merchants are convinced. Okay, so where are these temple grounds then? Where did that appear? I'm not entirely sure. It's not one of those. It says the holding of Sabay. So it should be over there because that... Oh, hang on. Sabay is quite big though. Do you know what? I'm not entirely sure. But hooray, an exciting thing has happened and that's got to be a good thing. Right, there we go. Something nice has happened. And we get our first perk over in the learning lifestyle. I think, yeah, let's go down whole of body as we sort of planned. Because, yeah, if we could, you know, by the age of, what, 50, maybe a tad after that. But, you know, as soon as we can, if we could complete whole of body and get that done, that's going to be a huge health boost and of course, stress gain comes down as well. And healthy is good. That's a medium boost. So if we could get that done by the time, you know, Sunrise is sort of, you know, in his sort of maybe early to mid 50s, that might mean that he could live quite long indeed. But there we go. Let's get anatomical studies first. A court physician costs less to hire. Well, possibly we should have waited for that. But never mind, we didn't. Um, and they have better outcomes as well. There we go. Splendid stuff. Right, how are we doing for money? It's not, you know, it's not looking good with 72, but it's going up quite nicely. And, hang on, what task finished? Um, increasing control. Okay, that's fine. Um, I did notice, yeah, we've completed the wooden watchtowers and we've completed the monastic schools as well, which is quite good. Down here, our chappy, our, um, our marshal, they did just finish sorting out control. I think the places that we're looking after are at maximum control, aren't they? So hang on a minute. Let's go and have a little look. So yeah, we look over that bit there and Mecca and all that lot over there seem to be nice and under control. Okay, so that's fine. So our territory, our holdings are all nice and under control. I mean, it is a little bit of a mess over here. But that's kind of other people's problems. We've delegated that to other people. So hopefully they can sort that out. So I think what we could do is, at the moment, he's organising an army. Which is good. And that means we save a bit of money on army maintenance and all that kind of stuff. But we could train some commanders. We could do that. Because there is a 14% chance of improving or finding a new commander or knight each month. So I mean, I'm not quite sure of the numbers. But I think at the end of each year... That should have happened, shouldn't it? At least once. The law of averages kind of says that that should have happened each time. So I think we should do that. I think we should do that. So it might hit us in the pocket a little bit, but we might then get some better commanders or knights, which is very good indeed. So let's do that, shall we? There is a new option there. What's that? That's managing the royal guard. So knight effectiveness goes up quite a lot. Increases by 2% per month up to 56%. He can make the knights... 56% more effective. That's absolutely insane. That's ludicrous. I mean, hang on, hang on, hang on. I know our knights aren't as good as uh, as they once were when Faddle was under sort of you know, in command, but hang on, how good are they? Uh, go to the knights. They're on 187% effectiveness right now. That's pretty good. That is pretty good indeed. We do need to get some more good knights in. You're on 28, you're on 28. Then we've got 22 and 22. I mean, you know, these aren't shabby they're not terrible but they could be better we could do with getting some better knights in yeah some more in the high 20s early 30s would be quite good um but yeah okay so how about you do some work on training our commanders 
So it is going to hit us in the pocket a bit because he's not going to be sort of reducing the cost of the troops. But that's fine. I think we can cope with that. We'll see what that comes down to. Oh, hang on a minute. People are gaining traits and things all over the place. Oh, I pressed the button. I didn't mean to press. Uh, we gained living healthy for five years. We've got a medium health boost. Oh my goodness me, it's all coming together, Sunrise. It's because of the hat, Sunrise. It's because of the wonderful, wonderful hat. And just look at it, it's very wonderful indeed. Uh, we don't want to commission an artifact. That would be a silly thing to do because we have to keep repairing our existing ones. But uh, no, that's fine. Stop making us do artifacts and things. Oh, hang on though. That did say about calling a hunt, didn't it? Oh, hang on. There's also a situation that we have to deal with as well. How expensive is the hunt going to be? So call a hunt, it's going to be 133 monies, but we are a little bit stressed out. We're a little bit stressed and I don't want to go to stress level two. So we could potentially bring that down a little bit, but uh, yeah, we might need to save a little bit of money first, but that's okay. Uh, let's go and deal with the situation. What's going on over here? Two palfreys. Okay. Uh, oh, that's a type of horse, isn't it? We saw that not long ago. There was a palfrey and something else. Um, Gerard Cease of Shiraz Shirazad, <laughs> Shirazid, that's a Pokemon, isn't it? Has bestowed upon me a most gracious gift. A couple of well-bred palfreys, one mare and one stallion. Okay, so they can, you know, do the equivalent of horses writing letters to the stork. Okay, my lord, my brother Prince going beckons me over to the mare. Look at these muscles and those hindquarters. This one would serve well in war. Okay, so we can say they will serve the lords and ladies of the court. We gain some court grandeur. We're already on court grandeur level 10. Um, okay, they'll both fetch a good price. We could get 300 money out of that, but it is going to upset Chappie because, of course, he's gone, look at this. I've given you these amazing horses and we're going to go, yep, thanks, I'm selling them. Or I would train the mare myself. So, okay, we gain 150 prestige. And there's a prowess challenge. There is an 84% chance that we could get a horse. We could get our own horse. Pr uh, prowess plus one. Prestige up a little teeny tiny bit. I mean, that's quite tempting, isn't it? It's quite tempting. Hang on a second. Hang on. Can we find us? Would we do this? Would we do that kind of thing? We're not that good at fighting. Prowess is 11. So it's not great. And in fact, our base is 5. It's only increased up to 11 through various other bits and bobs. So, um, okay. So it's not really very good. So I don't think we'd go and train it, possibly. Um, I don't think we'd sell it because, you know, we're sort of, we're temperate. It's okay. We've got two lovely horses. And you know, yes, okay, it'll fetch some money, but we're temperate. It's best to enjoy things in moderation. We don't want too much money all of a sudden, apart from when we need to do lots of building upgrades. I think we would get them to serve the lords and ladies of the court. I think we'll just pick up six grandeur. I think that's what he would do. That is the right thing to do. And of course, we're gregarious. We like spending time with other people. So that'd be quite good. That's a good sort of talking point. That's quite a good conversation piece, isn't it? We can go, yes, okay. Have you seen the horses? Look, they're lovely, aren't they? So yeah, I think that's what we would do. So there we go. Court situation handled. That's all very good. Um, One thing that I recall earlier that I said I was going to look at and then I didn't is the succession. I think we need to go and have a quick look at that. This is going to be all over the place. This is going to be very unpleasant, isn't it? Yeah. So right now, if a big meteor dropped out the sky and obliterated Sultan Sunrise from existence, um, yeah, so Faddle Sunrise would get would get the lovely people of Sultanate. That's good. He'd get the Dalak Emirate. That's good. And he'd get the Sheikdom of Dalak and the mosque that comes with it. So we'd get the kind of the capital over here, which is lovely. And we don't come here often enough, I don't think. You know, we sort of spend our time kind of zoomed out over here. But I think it's important to go and look at this occasionally because that's where all this began. Look at that, our lovely little kind of island paradise. However, we would lose nine titles. Oh, dearie me. Um, yeah, so Warm Bath. Warm Bath gets Gondar and all those ones. Um, Owl. Owl comes out of it quite well. Because Al gets Mecca and all the associated bits and bobs. And Kindness gets Medina. So we do need to sort this out quite urgently, I would say. I mean, unless we get, you know, kind of get assassinated. I think we've got a few years in us left yet. So maybe we could sort it out in time. What exactly are we looking at here? So hang on a minute. Go to Innovations. What are we focusing on? Cranes. Okay. That is a very kind of sunrise thing to do. But maybe... Now, with, you know, his years ticking on, 
I think maybe Sunrise might think, you know what? Got quite a lot of sons there. We do need to sort out the succession problem. Maybe we would go for primogeniture because he wants everything to be stable. He wants a nice stable transition of power when he passes away. He doesn't want the realm to be kind of carved apart between lots of people. That's all very complicated. I think maybe he would think about that. How long have we got left until we do cranes? Eight years. So eight years we discover the secrets of cranes um, or primogeniture, if we focus on that, 15 years. I think it might be worth doing. I think maybe he would think about that because, you know, he's clever. He's a clever person. He's a very learned person. I think maybe that's what he would do. We'll switch over to that for now. I mean, it certainly helps us in game as well because we don't want the realm to collapse. It's a shame that we're going to you know, not research cranes right now, but I think we can wait for that because, yeah, he's uh, he's wily enough to know that, yeah, if this does all kind of, uh, if something does go wrong, it's going to be really complicated for poor Faddle when Faddle takes over Faddle the second. So, yeah, I think maybe he'd be aware of that and he'd think, Do you know what, let's try and help out a bit here. Let's maybe get ourselves a new succession law so things are a little bit more organised and we don't sort of see the collapse of the Sultanate. So there we go. There we go. Hopefully we can sort of you know, get on with that. That'd be quite nice. OK, the mental break timer thing is ticked round again. And this time we're being bothered by wanton desires. Oh, my goodness me. Right. OK. Lately, it feels like I'm constantly being distracted by lascivious is that thoughts and erotic fantasies. With all the hardships of my everyday life, it is all too easy to lose myself in daydreams and forget about reality. These desires are clearly interfering with my life, but what should I do about them? Oh, dear me. Cold showers for you. Cold showers. Okay, so we can either become reclusive. But I don't think that works because he's gregarious. I think that completely contradicts his nature. So I don't think he'd do that. And we could convert to whatever that is, an organized Jewish faith. That will be somewhat extreme. And for somebody that's gone and done the Hajj and that kind of stuff, I don't think you'd do that. So I will bite my lip and try to stay focused. We gain 24 stress. Okay, I think we do that one. However, if we then go and call a hunt, I think that could be quite good. Also, were we not going to do something with a feast? Was that not going to be something exciting? I think that might have been something exciting. Didn't that happen? I can't remember. But anyway, here we go. So let's do this. Let's go and have a feast. Oh, and look at that. We're going to lose a massive pile of stress because we do like this. This is very good indeed. We love having a feast because loads of people are around the place. Um, it's going to cost 200 of our money, but I think that's OK. It's worth doing. So let's send the invites out. Let's go and have a big old feast. Is it over here? So hang on. Let's see who attends first. We're no longer as overwhelmed by stress. OK, welcome, friends. Look at my wonderful hat and behold. Right, OK, so who declined? Um, Amir Karadin. He's going to be a bit of a problem, isn't he? I see him being a problem. Sheikh Abdul declined and Emir Abdul Wahab declined. But there are quite a lot of people here. My goodness me, there's an awful lot of people here. I mean, everyone does seem sort of, you know, quite fond of us. But the ones who are not quite so fond, so Emir Chocolate. Emir Chocolate doesn't like us. Didn't we give loads and loads of land to Emir Chocolate? Goodness me, what's that? The, the Chocolate Emirate? Hang on, what? Hang on, we'll come back to that in a second. He's got his own emirate, has he? Has he carved out his own emirate? Has he made a new a new sort of emirate title? Oh, that's quite exciting. Okay, hang on. Um, I mean, yeah, if they're Emir Abdal plus 56, hopefully you'll like us a bit more after this big old party. Emir Samir doesn't like us very much at all, but hopefully we can change that around. Yeah, okay, good. A nice party is underway. So hang on a minute. So we've got, yeah, the chocolate, the chocolate emirate. That must be a new thing. That must be a new thing that he's founded himself. Because that is obviously not a thing that's in the game by default. Okay. That's quite intriguing. I didn't know that that was a thing. I didn't know that was a thing. I mean, yeah, duchy titles. Yeah, there it is. It's an official duchy. It's the, it's the chocolate emirate. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. I didn't know that was a thing. I like the... Um, I like the sort of coat of arms. That's good. I like that. That's very nice. Um, right. OK. Yeah. Let's move time on. Let's get this party underway. Come on. There's partying to be done. And we like all this. Oh, here we go. Somebody said something a little bit naughty. Uh, Feast. The innuendo. I know what I said. I just don't understand why you find it so funny. Sheikh Giyasuddin. OK. So you are from Mara. OK. Cocks his head to the side while I withhold my chortle. I like that. I like the word chortle. I haven't told him that what he said could be interpreted 
a something lewd. <laughs> if you squeeze the head, a thick substance will pour out. I don't know what he's referring to there. I don't know. Possibly a plant or something. If you squeeze ahead of a plant, maybe some sort of substance could come out of the plant. I, I don't know. I, I don't see why this is an innuendo. I think we're being very immature. I may not be alone in thinking this is funny either. Emir Ardashir spat out some of his drink when Sheikh Yassidim repeated himself. The two could share the same kind of crude humour as I, or they could be offended by it. I won't know what either thinks until I speak up. Okay, so we could just go, I never mind, or uh, repeat what you said, but slowly really think about it. You take the risk of embarrassing Sheikh Yassidin, hoping that you share the same kind of humour. Um, hang on. So he is, he's humble, he's compassionate, and he's lustful, uh, and you are, you're just and gluttonous and generous. I don't think we get any clues from that, do we? We have no clues from that at all. Um, I think we'd go for it because we are gregarious. That's kind of what we're like. We like a party. So I think we'd go for this. So, Joe, you know what? Repeat what you said, but slowly. Um, he's mortified by our perverse humour. Oh, dearie me. <laughs> ah, okay. That's not good. And we're trying to sway Emir Mansur. Ah, yeah, because he was part of a faction, wasn't he? We'll have to go and check. It seems that my diplomatic overtures toward Emir Mansour have caused a major a major misunderstanding. I have received a letter which makes it clear he thinks I've been pursuing a different goal entirely. I'm your vassal, for Alan's sake. I do not need to read on to get the, to the point. Oh, does he think I'm flirting with him? Oh, that's not good. It's all a big misunderstanding. Oh, no, it ends the sway scheme. <laughs> okay, so he's on plus 70. Uh, hang on a minute, hang on. Can we go and check the um can we go and check the factions? Is he still part of a faction? They're all peasanty ones. Hang on a minute. Um Oh no, now it's Amir Samir who would like who's a part of a Liberty faction. Hang on a minute. Right, let's go and sway you. <laughs> Good grief. Um okay, right. Here we go over here. Um, collateral damage. I have barely managed to sit down in my seat when I hear a howl emanating from Emir Ab Abdal. Um, it would seem that he and Vali are D, I know a BB have really gotten into it as Abdali is receiving a proper man handling from a BB. Too late, I realise their martial dance has paved its way straight through the hide of the terrifying fox of Jillabor. Oh no, not the hide of the terrifying fox of Jillabor. It does provide renown though, that's quite good. I motion for my guards to separate the two, hissing and clawing at each other. The Joe is presented in front of me, all the while throwing blame on one another for starting the fight. Okay. So you've got plus 98 opinion, you've got plus 56 opinion. Okay, so you do like us a bit more. So, okay, so we could blame you. So he's going to pay 150 money. That's good. But then he's going to get a little bit grumpy with us and might possibly become a rival. But that's okay, because he likes us quite a bit anyway, so we could cope with that. Um, oh no, and the durability of the hide of the terrifying fox of Jillabor has decreased by 16. Oh no! Is it one of the things that's falling apart? I'm not sure. Or we could blame the other person. So we could blame you. And then it's the other way round. So he likes us a bit. But he likes us quite a lot anyway. Or oh, these things happen. It wasn't my favourite piece. Um, okay, so they both like us a bit. They may, they may be sort of might form a rival with each other. But that's fine. We lose some dread. We spend some prestige. That's not a bother. We gain benevolent ruler. Direct vassal opinion up by five. Courtier and guest opinion up by 10. I think, given that you know, we are temperate and it's okay and we're just, and it doesn't look like one person was to blame more than the other, and we're gregarious, it's a party, these things happen. I mean, yeah, these things happen. It wasn't my favourite piece. It's okay. I think we can cope with that. Right, here we go. Hang on, go back to there. Um, let's get to the final event of the party. And the Liberty Faction has disbanded. That is very good to hear indeed. Uh, we don't want to commission an artifact. We do need to look at repairing some of them. Oh, hang on a minute. One of the sort of uh, peasant factions has gone. That's very good as well. And our commander has been improved. So Burkan increased his marshal by one. That's really good. That's wonderful. And the feast is over. That's very good indeed. Everyone gets 30 opinion of us for 10 years because we hosted a great feast. And I think our um, our musician helps with that. I think because we have sort of, you know, official music at the at the feast, that does help everybody kind of enjoy it a bit more. There we go. That's very good indeed. Okay, right, so we're still topping up on the money. So then very soon we can go and do some stuff. Oh, here we go, hang on. A feast under your name. And that was it. 
that was it. We did a thing, didn't we? I can't quite recall what it was, but there we go. What a marvellous feast that was. With the promised feast of Shakers of Aid still fresh in the memories of those who attended that day, the attendees to my feast were ecstatically singing my praises. I felt drunk on happiness as people cheered and worshipped at my feet. An additional benefit of keeping my promise to Zepaid is that all of those who attended are speaking highly of my court. Oh yeah, that's it. He said we should have a kind of a party or something to celebrate how great we are or whatever, but okay. I'm sure the next feast will be even better. We gain 10 court grandeur. We can't be off being the best court in the world. Surely we can't be too far away. We are second in the world behind the Byzantine court. I mean, that's still pretty good. We've got a better court than the court of the Holy Roman Empire. <laughs> that's wonderful. Um, yeah, court grandeur is 100 and the baseline is 100 and it's just ticking up all the time. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. We also do seem to have over 30,000 soldiers at disposal now. That's quite good as well. That's wonderful. Okay, right, let's get time moving on a bit more. Stress-wise, we're okay. That's okay. I can cope with that. We could bring it down a bit with doing a hunt, but I want to save a big chunk of money, and then I'd like to go and do some more building work. I'd like to go and do some more stuff around the place. I mean, if we could get, what, three new things underway... That would be really good if we could do that. And of course, because we're an architect, things are a little bit cheaper now and a bit quicker to build. So I'd like to get that done if we could. I mean, what could we do down here now? If I could press the right button, that would help, wouldn't it? Hang on, there we go. Um, not so bothered about the watchtowers now. I mean, we could... Oh, uh, hang on. My daughter, Sajida, has given birth to another daughter. Okie doke. Um, hang on, hang on. So you are, what are you? You're a genius and you're going to be pretty. That's really good as well. So hang on. You've got uh, spring. Yeah, you've got cuddles and spring. Um, okay, what can we call you then, third child of Sajida? I think we'll call you Giggles. I like that. That's a lovely, happy name, isn't it? Everybody loves a little giggle now and then. So there we go. May you grow to be strong and wise, Giggles. Right, so that's that sorted out. But yeah, so what can we build down here? We could we could upgrade the barracks to go to a stone barracks because that's the only thing over at Delacabir that's at uh, that's at level two. So we could increase that a bit. So what does that do? That's 255 monies. We get some more levies. That's neither here nor there. But um, it does increase our heavy infantry damage and toughness and our spearmen damage and toughness. That could be worth doing. Um, okay, hang on a minute. We've got another thing to do with. And uh, our wife is pregnant. Oh my goodness me. So many children. Degraded artifact. Adapt. My antiquarian Noella approaches me with a word expression on her face. My lord, I've grown increasingly concerned about your hearty warhammer and the state of utter disrepair it has fallen into is coming apart. I might, it might never regain its original use, but if you allow me, I can at least salvage a part of it as a memento of glory past. After all, it has been a mighty symbol of your power for a while. Do we even use it? I mean, it looks rubbish. That picture makes it look a bit rubbish, doesn't it? <laughs> um, I think, did we nick that from somebody? I suspect maybe we stole that from somebody. Um, okay, it's good for something. Just do your job and repair it. Okay, so the, the durability increases by 60 and we lose 15 money. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and then, yeah, I think we will do this. So hang on, what have we got now? So heavy infantry damage and toughness and spearmen damage and toughness is up by 6% and 4%, but then it goes up to 8%, so they do more damage. Yeah, do you know what? Why not? Let's upgrade the barracks over at Dalat Kabir. Um, hang on a minute, stuff's happening over here. People are gaining traits. Okay, that's working very well. I like that. And then maybe, with our 270 money, we could go and build something else. How about some, maybe some more farms? That'd be quite good, because that's 0.3 gold per month and supply limit up and all that kind of stuff. Oh, one of our um, one of our people's been preaching unorthodox doctrine. Never mind. Um, yeah, we could do that, couldn't we? We could do that over there. Is there anything we could do to Mecca? Oh, there are a few things we could do to Mecca. Look, hang on. We could get that upgraded to level four over in Mecca. We could get farmsteads. Oh, I like the sound of that. Yeah, let's do that. 318 monies. But that's really good. So what does that do? Gives us plus 0.3 money per month. Which doesn't sound much, but it all adds up. Um, and then the, what do we get? Development growth. Up by 5% in that county. That's very good. Um, yeah, okay. We'll have one of those, please. Okay, that's looking very good. I like that. And 
we've got a new perk. Okay, so carefree. Uh, stress gain is 20% less when we pick some up. Restraint, we can become a bit celibate. Or we could wash our hands. Reduce chance of contracting illnesses. Yeah, and also for the people in our court as well. Because yeah, we're going to wash our hands. Lots of times, please. Very clean hands. Okay, that's very good as well. It's all going well. And one of our knights has increased their prowess. That's wonderful. And we have another son. Okay. <laughs> wow. That's that's many sons. Yeah, we do need to get primogeniture sorted because otherwise it's going to be all sorts of trouble. Um, okay, right. What shall we call son number five, is it? I think you are fifth son. One, um, two, three, four, and five. Okay, son number five. What shall we call you? I think to go with our gregarious nature and the fact that we did just host a very, very popular feast indeed, I think we should call our son Party. I like that because, you know, a party is a fun thing, isn't it? If there's, you know, jelly and ice cream and party games and pass the parcel and all that kind of stuff, I like that. So there we go. We shall call you Party because you are fond of a party or two. May you grow to be strong and wise. Hang on a minute. And you are a genius. The geniuses are strong in the lovely people. That is very good good as well. Okay, Prince Party. Prince Party is wonderful. We have to make sure that he becomes gregarious, because otherwise that would be silly. If you're like sort of shy or whatever, that would be a little bit of a shame. But uh, there we go. Many, many children now. Oh my goodness me. And we've been overwhelmed by stress. Why is that? Um, oh, because we failed to sway Amir Samir. Ah, and because we're gregarious, that stresses us out. Oh, I think there was only a 5% chance of that happening, so that's a little bit of a shame. But never mind, never mind. Can't be helped now. There we go. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. If we save up enough money, we could then go on a hunt, and that'll bring that down a bit more. But I just want to get one more building done, because we did say we're going to do three things. Oh, somebody's turned up. Shakes of Bade has turned up to give us some stuff. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hang on a minute. Right. I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Sheikh Zabaid, who is soon announced and ushered before me. He kneels in deference, offering nothing but his oath to faithfully serve as a vassal of the Sultanate. Sheikh Zabaid rises, looking awkward. From the corner of my eye, I notice my daughter, Princess Shola of the lovely people Sultanate, swooning, clearly besotted by the Sheikh. Oh dear. Right. Okay. I think we wouldn't be horrible. We wouldn't say, how dare you out. I think we go for this. I think we're done here. So, okay, spend some prestige. We get grandeur. We get prestige. We get some renown. Okay, that was a little bit awkward, but okay. Right, hang on. What have we got? 210. Oh, crikeys. Um, Sheikh Giyasuddin has had an extra marital affair with a lover. Yep, yeah, okay, it's fine. Whatever. They've been naughty. It's okay, I'm sure. Yep, yeah, they'll be judged and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so Mecca's building something. So, yeah, what are we going to do? Is it over here? Hey, it was the fields. It was the farms over here, wasn't it? So another 225 money to upgrade those. And I think with that done, we will wrap things up for now. So it's been a kind of, you know, a little time of just sort of you know, getting some money and sorting out things back at home after all the time we spent over here last time out. So we've kind of come back home and we've just kind of sorted things out. We've not really done any great sort of land expansion or anything, but I think maybe next time we might look over here possibly. That could be quite good. So go over there. And then maybe we could look at kind of moving around here. I wouldn't mind going up into that part of the world and going over here. That could be quite good, couldn't it? Going over there. And then also maybe coming down here. I don't know. I mean, do we want to move down here? There's quite a lot of land down here. And there's a big bit of impassable terrain there and a big bit there. But yeah, we do have that bit in the middle. So maybe we could make use of that as kind of like a sort of a staging post where we could get our people to go and attack from or whatever. And yeah, we could go and maybe grab all this down here. Because if we had all that round there and all that down there, that would be huge. That would be absolutely massive. I mean, we're quite big as it is anyway. Look at that. There are some places buried. I think, um, yeah, so Francia, Francia, that looks a bit bigger. Um, that place there looks big. That place there looks quite big. But we're certainly getting on, on the Byzantines, of course. We're getting on for a very, very big sultanate. So, yeah, I think if we could start taking things down here, that would be really wonderful. That'd be very good. And over here as well. But, yeah, we'll have a go at that next time. Yeah, we'll see what else we get up to. Try and improve some more buildings and just make sure that we're developing places and all that kind of stuff. But, uh, yeah, we'll finish up for now. See how we get on next time. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Crusader Kings 3. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the 
Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. There we go, the king and kettle. It's this, it's Rob the Guard. Rob the Guard, he's a hero. He is Rob the Guard. He's got a feather in his cap. He's got a beard. This could be the planty room. <laughs> we could have so many plants. Hang on. <laughs> I feel like there's a book here to be written. We've got the executioner and the nun. <laughs>